of the pressure. We need to deliver this place. We, we are supposed to be done by June. Mm -hmm. and as you can see, mm -hmm. it's going to be a tight one. Hi, I'm Tony True. I am the CEO and founder of Venetian Nails Park. I am here today to do our second phase filming video of the Venetian Nails Park that under construction in Midtown Doral. We are in a phase during the insulation, drywall. Uh, the framing is already done. So right now you can see there's nobody here. We are waiting for the city of Doral, the inspector to come out and, and inspect the, the screw, the drywall screw, the insulation, the different type of insulation and all the drywall taping before we start like patching up and finishing up. As you can see, we are at the stage that uh, I do come out here probably once every two weeks. Uh, in each site, we have uh, our own superintendent, which is Alex, that uh, you've seen in the video. And today, my job is to come out to inspect and where we at, what stage we at, and to see if are we up to the schedule and then and what needs to be delivered so my team can prepare for the next step. To build some, something like this, everything has to be chronologically uh, in, in order and organized. You don't want to assign people, okay, today is the elect electrician, uh, tomorrow is the mechanical. Uh, sometimes they all work together, co in hand. So that way we can speed up the process. So a professional way of to build uh, anything, uh, especially uh, this complicated uh, salon, uh, it has to come into a schedule. Uh, like as you can see here, this is very detailed schedule for each job site and it has the date and time, the approximate date and time. Like today is, uh, you can see May 20th. We can see that right now, they are waiting on the framing inspection, the insulation inspection, and the, the drywall screw inspection. So that's the schedule you can see in the spreadsheet. But in here, you can see that they are pretty much overlap each other. The drywall, the plumbing, electrical, they probably go hands in hand together. So we can see it's clearly better where we are at in, in the time of the, con during the time of construction. Without this schedule, we, you might fall behind or you might delay in the opening. Without this, you can't organize, you, can't, you cannot follow uh, the construction. You cannot do it by ear. So I'm gonna show you another way that uh, most of the salon, especially the Venetian salon because of uh, the higher volume of uh, washing and drying, we always install double stack washer and dryer unit, uh, not just one because a uh, salon is, uh, can be, become very busy, especially uh, the, during the busy season. But eventually every day, you, if you just imagine you use continuously using the washing machine and the dryer. So the dryer has to dry every, anything that we wash in here, but it's gonna vent up all the way outside. Luckily, if you see right here in this salon, it vent up this way, go up, and it directly outside, uh, outside vent into the side. Some of the other sal salon that we have, this dryer vent, it goes all the way shoot up. If there's multi uh, high rises on top, the CD code would not allow us to vent outside. It want us, want us to go all the way straight, straight up to the ceiling. It could be 30 feet, 40 feet up, and then go sideways and come out. So how can, with all the lint and from the tower, dryer, from all the uh, washing, there's no way you can, you know, a fan, even though with the outside exhaust fan, there's always a problem. You can't clean up the, the pipe. It will have lint, it had lint from the tower build up years after years. It will cause condensation and then start leaking into the salon. That, that's where the water coming out. So now uh, the best way to resolve this, even though it doesn't matter how far, how long it is we go, if you can see right here, it is just connecting the dryer at the back of this out. But then we took an extra step. We're gonna install right here above the dryer, secondary lint trap. So it's like an, an open gap air where you can open up the, the pipe right here and, and there will be a screen, a net that connect all the lint coming up. It would trap and we just clean that out and then we close it up again. We do that almost every day. There's another problem in the salon that, uh, that came uh, along the way is the even though this salon is 3,000 square feet, we have a total of uh, 17 ton unit of uh, HVAC. The city called for the uh, heating element as well. And then in, in this unit that was delivered, they don't have the, the heat wire, the heat strip. So 
Now, when we talk to the contractor, when we bid out to the mechanical, they order the wrong unit. Now they ask us to accept the unit as is, or they have to send it back and we delay the time. So we don't want to delay because every time you, we have to pre-order this unit. So now what we did is that we just accept the unit that the contract that call and order the unit, and then we just have to do a, a different uh, alteration. It, instead of inside the store calling for the heat strip, we're going to have to install it on the outside. So, so the outside now is that we're going to ask for extended warranty for that particular uh, change in, in, in change in order would fix the problem. If something comes wrong and they say, well, that's what you sign up, even though the plane called for a different unit, but we need to have something in writing for them to sign that they uh, warranty the, the part for a couple more years. Additional warranty from the AC contractor could be welcome. In mm -hmm. other words, if, if the engineer is not comfortable with this equipment because uh, mm -hmm. it's, un, it's unusual, it's irregular, it's never been installed inside, it always comes with it, but the one you spec doesn't exist. So putting one inside that has not gone through a UL or any kind of laboratory, it's, it's, it, mm -hmm. it, it goes against his uh, principles. So Page, in his eternal wisdom, uh, established the notion that we could do a letter to you, the mm -hmm. owner, saying that we provide above and beyond the warranty of the supplier or manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So I'm done here today uh, of in salon inspection. It, uh, it goes according to schedule. Uh, I'm happy with the, the progress and uh, I hope that uh, everyone's happy to see what we uh, did so far in the salon today. And uh, if you like to know more information, you can uh, comment uh, in the comment box below. Uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel so you will see any new and updated video about Venetian Nail and Spa. Thank you and uh, I'll see you next time.